football. And I guess half of you are depressed tonight and half of you are overjoyed. Today's AFC wildcard game between the Jets and the Patriots was a local football fan's dream. In the end, the Pats beat the Jets 26-14 today and will advance to next Sunday's meeting with the L.A. Raiders. After Tony Franklin's field goal made it 3 to nothing, Pats, the Jets got on the board with a 12-yard touchdown to Ken O'Brien to Johnny Hector. O'Brien later suffered a mild concussion and had the lead. That was the start of the Jets' problems. Back-to-back -back turnovers gave New England the lead. This interception by Fred Murrian set up this Tony Eason touchdown to Stanley Morgan, 13-7 at the half. In the third quarter, New England exploded for 10 points and 15 seconds after Franklin field goal made it 16-7. Hector was hit by Johnny Rimberg on the kickoff return and coughed up the football. As the Jets stood around admiring the hit, Rimbert scooped up the loose ball and marched 15 yards for the score. And there was a flag on the play, but it went against the Jets. The touchdown made it 23-7. Patriots in the fourth. Backup, Pat Ryan, put together a 67-yard drive, capping it off this toss to Mickey Shula for a touchdown. That pulled the Jets within nine, 23-14. But that was as close as they'd get. New York turned the ball over four times. This pass to Free McNeil was picked off and fumbles, and Steve Nelson finally recovers it for the Pats. Three of those turnovers for the Jets included a field goal. 313 left. Tony Franklin hit four today to tie a playoff record. The Pats win it 26 to 14. Now let's go to Bob Pic The other is because they throw Gatorade on their coat. But the third thing is that offensive line has really come of age. They really deserve a lot of credit. Talking about the deal where they dump the stuff on you. He's getting a double bucket there. Oh, yeah. You got the water and the Gatorade. Yeah, but when you have six times by the Bears defense. Meanwhile, the Bears quarterback, Jim McMahon, was busy throwing two touchdown strikes to Dennis McKinnon in the third quarter and route to the Bears, 21 to nothing, destruction of the Giants. The field, um, Three to nothing, Nordiques, as they held on to beat the hapless Rangers, five to four. And our own New Haven punter, Sean Landetta, said a gust of wind blew the ball away from his right foot. The shank was scooped up at the Giants, five by Sean Gale. Seven nothing Bears. Gale's first touchdown since high school. With less than a minute till halftime, the Giants got good field position. Sims and Bobby Johnson hooked up on a sideline play for 17 yards to the Chicago two. After three incompletions in the end zone, Eric Schubert missed the 19-yard field goal attempt. The ball caromed off the left upright. Schubert's sixth miss in his last seven attempts of the season in the playoffs. More pressure on Sims in the third quarter. This sack by Mike Singletary stopped the Giants on downs, leading to the Bears' second score. Third and eight at the Giants' 23, Jim McMahon throwing against the win. He was short, but Dennis McKinnon fooled Elvis Patterson for the touchdown catch, 14-0. Later in the third, McMahon found tight end Tim Reitman all alone, no coverage. A gain of 46 yards to the Giants' 20. The next play, McMahon to McKinnon. The 20-yard touchdown made it 21-0. McKinnon burned left cornerback Elvis Patterson for two touchdowns. 